There are now millions of American men who are using testosterone on a daily basis. There were concerns raised with the FDA about the safety of testosterone. And this occurred because a very small clinical trial was stopped prematurely because of an excess of heart-related events. The current trial, Traverse, was designed in response to the mandate from the FDA to study the safety of testosterone. We randomly assigned men either to a gel that was a placebo or a gel containing testosterone. And we adjusted the doses to achieve blood levels of testosterone that were normal. To get into the study, you had to have a low level of testosterone. You also had to have symptoms, decreased sexual desire, loss of normal body hair, you know, such as facial hair, and a variety of other symptoms. The men that were in this study, about half of them actually had heart disease. They'd had a heart attack or a stent or something like that. And the other half were at high risk for an event. They had high blood pressure and or high cholesterol or diabetes. We then followed about 5,000 patients for an average of about 22 months. And the question we were asking was, were there more cardiovascular events in men who were getting testosterone compared to men who were getting a placebo? The answer is that there were not. They were almost identical numbers of events in the placebo group and in the men taking testosterone. Although we showed that in men with low testosterone levels and symptoms, that treatment with testosterone is safe, we do not want the results of the Traverse trial to be used as a justification for widespread treatment of men uh, who are aging unless they really are well documented to have low testosterone. There also were some safety concerns in the trial. There was a higher rate of clots in the legs. And in fact, the current guidelines suggest that men who have had clots in their legs should not be treated with testosterone. My advice is that men should go to an established medical center where there are urologists or endocrinologists who are familiar with the data on the effects of testosterone, who can evaluate them carefully and decide whether or not they should be treated.